thank you for watching Power App Solutions in Minutes. In this video, we'll go ahead and uh, start Lesson 2 of SSIS. And uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and set up an Excel Connection Manager so that we can use a data source of Excel. I've gone ahead and created an Excel file uh, with some dummy data for contacts and um, their company name or parent company that we'll eventually deal with in, in probably Lesson 3. Uh, so very straightforward information. We're going to pass this as our data source. Um, I don't plan on having multiple environments in my free trial, uh, and I don't think I can do it. So with that being said, we're going to use our same target environment we've been working with, uh, with a source uh, assuming that that source could be Salesforce, that source could be NetSuite, that source could be an ERP system. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add a source. And before I do that, I'm going to add a control flow. So let's start by adding our um, data flow task. We'll just drag that onto the board here. We'll go inside of it. And then now we have all this access to all these phenomenal tools, right? Uh, the one I'm interested in, first and foremost, is an Excel source. So I'll go ahead and dump that, dump that one right here. And then I'm going to configure the Excel source. And I'm going to create a new connection manager based on the file path of my local file. It's going to be Microsoft Excel 2016 at least. That's the highest I can go. I'll hit OK. And then the Excel sheet is here. Beautiful. If I look at the columns, everything looks good. I'm happy with it. All right. Let's go ahead and hit OK. That source is ready to roll. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set our destination. So dynamic CRM destination node. And I'm going to connect our Excel source to that destination. And we'll deal with error logging and flat files later, derived columns, all the phenomenal functions that you can leverage in this tool um, in some later videos. But for now, I think this will suffice. So let's set up our dynamic CRM destination. And what we're going to do is just going to do a create event, use our connection manager we built in another video. Our destination entity is going to be the contact. In later videos, we're going to leverage upsert, and I'm going to show you how you can upsert uh, properly. And then um, the next thing we're going to do is refresh our CRM metadata. It's a good practice to do because sometimes developers in the development environment are making changes to the metadata, so you might find new fields here or fields that were deleted and so on. You don't want to have that going on. So then we'll just map based on our Excel file, right? So our input column here is the source file. So what are we interested in? Well, we're interested in mapping in the email address one field. Um, we're interested in mapping in the first name value from the Excel file. We're interested in mapping last name. And then, of course, mobile phone. So let's go over to mobile phone. OK. And for the. Since, since the last name is the required field on this contact record in Dynamics, uh, I think we're golden. Let's just take a quick peek. Email address, first name, last name, mobile phone. We're not going to associate the company yet because the companies haven't been created. We'll do that in another video, and then we'll associate them, and it'll be really cool. That would be that parent customer ID value here, which is a unique identifier data type. So let's hit OK. And then uh, what we want to do here is we want to execute this task. So I just right clicked, execute it. It's going to go in and start doing some work. Should be quick because there's not a lot of data passing through. Five rows. Looks like it succeeded. Let's go ahead and close this out or stop debugging. And then let's take a look in Dynamics. So let's see here. Let's open up Dynamics and see if our contacts came in. And there you have it. Contact A, first name. Contact B, blah, 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 blah. Here's their email addresses. And they even have mobile phones. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will definitely start going into more elaborate, like linking, uh, um, 
contacts to their parent accounts um, in a later video. Thank you so much for watching.